Live. It can take a lot for police dogs like Vegas to make it to the force. Live. Most are called dual purpose dogs, training for nearly four months for police patrol. Stop right there! I'll set my dog, stop! That's where they learn commands, protecting their partner. Get him! And searching for evidence. Uh, he finds whatever's not natural to the vegetation. It has human scent on it. Get him! And then there's another two months to learn detection. That's for bombs, bodies, or most commonly for drugs. There are several narcotics that they're trained for. Um, cocaine, heroin, um, methamphetamines. Cocaine packaged inside of a coffee filter. They're trained to detect any combination of those drugs and more. One they're not trained for is marijuana. We started learning our lessons from Colorado and Washington State when they made marijuana legal. They saw the problem on the horizon three years ago when legalization discussions started in Maine. If he's hitting on the marijuana, which is legal, that's not going to, that's, that, that, hurts your probable cause to search the vehicle. So they took marijuana out of state police canine school. If I walk into McDonald's, I smell hamburgers and um, french fries. The dog will actually smell the ketchup, the mustard, the pickle. Laws can change, but a dog trained to detect multiple scents cannot. There's just one dual purpose dog left with the sheriff's office that can detect marijuana. Probably two or three times a year will do school searches. Using his nose to find marijuana in schools where it's still illegal for children and in jails. If they don't get a lot of drug requests, uh, they're, still, they're still good patrol dogs. Sergeant Scott Dalton heads the canine drug program for Maine State Police, where most local and all state law enforcement dogs train, and a new class of canines is learning the ropes. Canines and drug dogs, they're just an investigatory tool. So it's one piece of an investigation tool that is used to help the officer gather the information they need to come to a conclusion. If they're not trained for drugs, they're often trained for bombs. If uh, something were in place, we would want them to find it, certainly. Some of Portland Police K-9 units patrol are busy transportation hubs. They're a good deterrent because police say you may not always know what each dog is looking for. Life. Law enforcement is keeping an eye out for marijuana trafficking and other marijuana-related illegal activities, while the dogs are focusing on harder drugs like crack, cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl. We try to target our resources towards where the problem is, and there is a huge problem, obviously, with, with opioids. Good boy. A task that's keeping these double-trained dogs going until they retire from the force, usually going home with the officers who've led the way their entire careers. It is a huge bond. Uh, it's one of the strongest bonds that, that you will ever see. Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.